Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am just showing you some of the things that I found at Costco. I've been wanting to do another Costco haul for a while, but I just have not made it to Costco since the last Costco haul. And um, I finally went, and so I just wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I do anything from motherhood to cleaning, I do some cooking, and of course grocery hauls, and also some like clothing shopping hauls as well. So if you're into that sort of thing, I do hope you choose to hit that subscribe button, and I really hope that you enjoy this video. So I think I'll start over here today. So I got, I needed some more shampoo and conditioner and they had them on sale. Whenever they have them on sale, I try and get them if I need them because it's a really good price for how big of a bottle that is. And I just kind of buy for the family. That's why I get such big bottles. Um, that way I'm only buying one kind of shampoo. I might buy a different one for the baby, but everybody else just uses the same one. And then it's a great deal to get these, this three pack. Um, I want to say, well, I know for a while it was on sale for $8.99. I didn't look at it today. I think it's 10 bucks for three bottles of contact solution for my husband. And that's such a good deal. We always get it at Costco because it, like I said, it's just a great deal and contact solution can be expensive. And then I saw today these, um, like corn nuts and they have all really good ingredients and I've been trying really hard to stay away from inflammatory oils and so I'm being super picky about the stuff that I buy and this one is not made with inflammatory oils so I was really happy about that and so I got that because it's a good snack everybody likes corn nuts and they just like to munch on them so I thought we'd give those a try and then I got these jerky sticks that we usually get um, when we go to Costco. I think these were $10.99 and it's a pretty big bag, so I like to get that. Um, and then I found these and my husband is a sucker for candy. He just, he loves candy and I don't, I have not bought it in a while, um, any candy at all. And he doesn't go out and buy it on its, his own. So when I saw these, I thought I would uh, get them for him and obviously he'll share with the rest of the family but I know my husband's a muncher and he'll just keep going into the pantry and going into the pantry and getting these uh, but yeah I thought that they looked pretty good right up his alley he loves sour chewy candies and so we'll see how those turn out and then this huge bag was a really good price this is a um 30 ounce bag. I really like this stuff. Um, I use it in protein shakes, smoothies. I even just use it as peanut butter sometimes. And so, and so, um, yeah, anyway, this big bag was on sale for $10. So I snagged a bag of that. And then with it being hot outside still, so I got this liquid IV. My husband's been drinking a lot of liquid IV. He works out in the sun. This is, it looks like for right now, gonna be like our last hot week. The rest of this week, I think is supposed to be in the 60s and 70s, which will be nice. But he does work outside. He sweats a lot. He burns a lot of calories and drinks a lot of water. And so he's been drinking liquid IV every single day. Um, just to keep his electrolytes and hydration going. And so um, I got a bag of liquid IV. I was kind of bummed because his favorite kind right now is the Rocket Pop flavor. And last time we were at Costco, they had it, but this time they didn't. But he'll make do with strawberry and golden cherry. And then moving down here, uh, this is the maple syrup that we use. It's the only one we use. There is another one in the store I get sometimes, but um, I mostly just buy this one. It lasts us a long time. So I got another one of those. And then I usually get the Kirkland, um, like, I, I don't know if it's organic or just natural peanut butter, 
but I wanted to switch it up a little bit and get almond butter. I haven't got almond butter in a really long time. So I saw that and I wanted to get that. I also saw a recipe on an Instagram reel where somebody made almond milk using almond butter and I saved it and wanted to try it. So that's another reason I got the almond butter. And then I have been making my own bread, but my daughter really loves sourdough bread and I have not mastered the sourdough yet. So um, right now it's just a fluffy white bread that I make. But I picked up a sourdough for her because she hasn't had it in a while. And then I got more bananas because we're running low. I got cucumbers because I've been going through cucumbers super fast. And then um, I got some green grapes. Um, we have been eating grapes up like crazy. We've been going through a lot of produce lately. It's kind of all I really buy anymore. I don't buy um, a bunch of snacky stuff. Those corn nuts and the, that candy and that jerky is about... You know, the most snacky stuff I've bought in a while. Um, I've mostly just been loading up on produce and um, the kids have been eating it. So anyway, I got more green grapes, watermelons, because like I said, I am trying to get watermelons as long as possible while they're still in season. We love watermelon in this house. And then I saw this butternut squash and it sounded really, really good. I kind of want to roast it with some cinnamon and um, some butter and I just think it's going to be really good. I don't know what I'm going to make it with yet, but um, I picked that up just to have with one of the dinners this week and then got some more apples and then they had this uh, creamy cranberry jalapeno dip. Okay, if you know, you know, this stuff is so good. And with like the holidays coming up and everything, um, I mean, we'll probably go get a, a new one before we start like buying for the holidays. Maybe something's on my hand. <laughs> oh, it's rice. I've got rice on my hand. That was one of the samples that the girls were eating while we were shopping. So I have rice on my hand. But um, yeah, so I picked up one of these. Um, I got to find some good style crackers to go with it. Probably we have like family dinners with one of our parents almost every weekend so um i'll bring it to the next family dinner and then um these are like the best pickles ever and so when we get a pack of these the kids literally go through them in a week i'm not even joking so i grabbed another one of those and then i got some ground turkey some ham for lunches so I don't like this packaging because it doesn't reseal very well and it is kind of a big pack. So what I do is I like split it up um, into like two different bags, maybe even three different bags. I can't remember. It's been a while since I bought it um, because it is kind of a big pack. So I'll split it up between two or three bags and then I'll put two of the bags in the freezer. And it's just cheaper to get it in this bulk packaging than to get the individual ones. They have like the, the three packs of ham or the three packs of turkey or whatever. But those are like anywhere from 12 to $14. And this was like six something. So um, I got one of these. Actually, it's right here. Uh, 813. So yeah. Anyway, got that. And then I always get one of these pulled porks because... We love this stuff and you can do so much with it and it has such good flavor. And then I grabbed a rotisserie chicken. It is gymnastics tonight, so we need an easy dinner. So I did that and I have two bags of um, Caesar salad that I bought like last week that was supposed to go with one of our dinners and I forgot to put it with one of the dinners. So it needs to be used up. So we'll probably just make chicken Caesar salads for dinner. And then I use this um, Kodiak pancake mix a lot. I am now like making muffins with it. I make uh, waffles with it. I make waffle egg sandwiches with it and pancakes and everything. So um, I picked up a box of that and this was on sale, I wanna say $8, eight or $9. And that's a really good price because the small boxes that I get at the regular grocery store are like, are like six bucks. So yeah, so I got that. Got some more protein bars. I really wanted some grass-fed butter. Um, I've been, it's almost baking season. So I, well, I guess we're approaching baking season really quickly. So I needed to get some butter. And then uh, my husband's also been really liking coconut water. He said out in the heat, it 
it's been really refreshing. So um, I got a box of that. And then his energy drinks. I drink one, probably one or two of them a week. I don't drink them as often as him. Um, I'm more of a coffee gal, but I do like the occasional energy drink. So um, I got his box. It sucks because during the summer they had like a different variety box. They had like a summer variety box and it had such good flavors in it. And we're just like kind of sick of these three flavors. Um, but that's the only variety pack that they have right now. So anywho, um, I grabbed another box of that. I'm almost out of my second bottle of avocado oil. I have only been using avocado oil and olive oil. And so I knew going to Costco today that I was gonna get another one of these. And then the last thing I got was this pack of hard boiled eggs. Honestly, this is just all my own laziness. We have plenty of eggs. We get a lot of eggs from um, my husband's parents. They have chickens and she has so many eggs she doesn't know what to do with. So we go and pick like up three or four cartons of eggs from her. Um, but I really like these little convenient packages because um, Josh likes them in his lunch and I'll have them as a snack every now and then too with like some everything bagel seasoning. Um, he likes his with mustard and so anyway, they're just convenient for his lunch and I was just too lazy to hard boil eggs and peel them. I really hate hard boiling eggs and then having to peel them and all that and with everything else I have to do. Um, convenience is key so <laughs> I got that and then I did get a case of water it is not featured up here because we have to walk up a flight of stairs to get to our front door and there's no way that I could carry that huge case of water up those stairs I usually just keep it in the car till my husband gets home so um, he will get that when he gets home but thought I'd tell you about it uh, even though it's not up here <laughs> So that is everything that I got, and all of this came out to be $340, which is insane to me because I don't even feel like I got that much, but um, I can't go to Costco without spending um, more than $300. It's just not possible, but I also don't go to Costco often. So anyway, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching this haul. And I hope that maybe this gives you some ideas if you're going to Costco soon. See you in the next one.